Arthroscopic surgery is infamous for not helping in improvement of arthritis. So now we are presenting a case of a 28 year old physiotherapist who present with an injury and which has an MRI images which shows a gauze sign. So we see there is a significant medial extrusion here on the MRI pictures and here we see that there is a there is a root tear and root tear is usually a cause of fast progression of arthritis but now we have a surgery which can prevent knee arthritis and this surgery which is a root repair can actually prevent the arthritis this is the only arthroscopic surgery which is known to prevent arthritis a root tear is an injury to the attachment point and this is classified into five types by Laprade it can be incomplete to complete to bucket handle to a fracture usually whatever the classification there the root tear can be both in medial and lateral meniscus and if it is if there is a root tear it progresses very fast it goes on with the extrusion and displacement of meniscus loss of shock absorber process and we see that in studies it is seen a root tear is actually equivalent to a total meniscectomy so this is a picture of a root tear which is seen arthroscopically and what the procedure actually what we do is we we do a little bit of a pike resting and we go into the posterior part of the knee and we use a suture self passing and self retrieving device like in this case we are using a mini first pass you can use a mini scorpion or something like that knee scorpion or something like that and what we do is we pass the uh, sutures sequentially and these sutures are looped on themselves so this is as i told you this is a young lady this is this lady is actually very young 28 years physiotherapist and if we leave it like this she'll end up into arthritic changes very fast and it is not you know this is not an age to do a knee replacement so what we do is we prepare the portion of the root we prepare the bony uh, bed we remove the cartilage at the portion where we want and we usually use a ring curate for this particular purpose and then we pass the suture management steps sequentially the uh, suture management is done uh, regular you pass a suture lasso and over that suture uh, tapes and uh, fiber tapes are passed sequentially and once they are passed this suture lasso is a very good instrument it usually passes it uh, passes the uh, uh, tapes nicely it will hold it onto its own place and once this passage is done the root is actually attached to its uh, original insertion uh, if like we are this in this we see after passage there is a very very nice root repair which can be done and the root is attached to the original native footprint of the root and this will actually prevent the further progression of the arthritis now we'll see another patient she is little bit elderly she is 40 years of age little bit of mucoid degeneration in the acl but here we see there is a tight medial joint space and when we do a good pie casting uh, a little bit of pie casting is needed to reach up to the posterior corner of the knee we need to just a little bit clear the soft tissue in initial view we will not see a good uh, tear but when we use this shaver as a probe we can see that there is a significant radial tear on the posterior most aspect of the root and which is actually equivalent to a total meniscectomy because it it causes loss of the hoop stresses and these kind of tears are bad tears because if you leave them they will progress into arthritis very fast and you the patient will end up in one or two years for a total knee replacement which is not good so what we do in this particular case is we plan to do a, a root repair we can also see a cartilage loss here and this is a special jig this is a specific jig which is developed for this purpose this is called as a meniscal root repair jig and what they it is it comes in two sides it is the right side and the left side and we drill it uh, with this specific jig once we are uh, we have drilled it we usually prepare uh, we will just see if it is exiting at the point of the root insertion and once we are confident that the position is good we will usually pass it uh, the next step so the next step will be to pass the threads usually we use two threads so here we will just prepare uh, the footprint as you can see there and we we'll, we can prepare the uh, footprint by either using a shaver or a ring curate and then the next step is that we will use our different suture passing devices
So as I told you, there are number of suture pressing devices which are available. You can use either anti-grid suture pressing devices like a mini scorpion or a mini scorpion or a mini uh, first pass as we use in this technique. We, we, uh, the most important thing is to achieve a good reduction and good improvement of the medial extrusion. So in this particular case, this is the first, pa uh, first passage and the first passage is usually on the medial side. This is a self-retrieving suture grasper. So the suture is captured on the medial side. It is taken out and the suture limb is loaded on itself. And when it is passed, we can use that this is a strong cinch suture, which we can do. And when we pull it, it can be pulled nicely. So in the same way, usually we recommend using two of these sutures. Uh, now we will pass another suture which will be on the lateral aspect of this particular suture. So it will be inserted on the little bit on the lateral aspect. The first suture on the middle aspect and the second suture on the lateral aspect. And it is again passed through a self retrieving grasper and it, is, it will be again looped over the itself. So there will be two suture lassos now, two sin sutures which are there and which can be shuttled through the uh, tunnel which is being constructed on the medial tibial plateau. So now there are two suture uh, lessos which are there and then the, the next step what we will do is we will make a small uh, drill hole in the proximal tibial uh, crest and we will pass a suture lasso or the suture from there and this suture lasso will actually be used to shuttle these two threads which are taken. So in our technique what we do is we use a spinal needle and we pass the suture lasso through the spinal needle and this spinal needle is gra and the suture lasso is grabbed with the arthroscopic, gra uh, arthroscopic grabber and we shuttle the sutures through the arthroscopic grabber and the important part in this aspect is to use a arthroscopic cannula because if you don't use an arthroscopic cannula you may uh, entangle your sutures in the soft tissue portion so that is very important entanglement of the sutures must be prevented and both of our sutures are usually passed from this cannula and then we will pass this suture lasso from there and the suture lasso is taken out through the cannula and the suture lasso is incorporated with both of these uh, suture limbs all the four suture limbs are pass through the suture lasso and they are pulled and once we pull the suture lasso all the four limbs can be tied back into the tunnel nicely and when we pull them the whole of the meniscal root will be repaired onto itself very nicely in the root area. So this is the final picture when we pull it the root is nicely repaired onto its footprint. We usually use a small button or a suture disc you can use a suture post to tie it on the tibial metaphysis and usually it gives a very very solid secure fixation and this is the final view so final view gives rise to a very good improvement in the medial extrusion and the the you can do a little bit of chondroplasty you can use a rf radio frequency device to improve the uh, chondral loss that has been region uh, caused because of this tear and this particular surgery is being shown to significantly improve the rate of progression of arthritis and actually this is the only arthroscopic surgery which is actually documented to prevent the arthritis from progressing. So with these kind of reconstructive surgeries now it is not that arthroscopic surgeries do not have a role in progression of arthritis which is a common uh, people's which people, which people feel. So this is the final picture two suture limbs and the root is nicely repaired and we can see that now this uh, we can give additional life to this knee so this is a knee, this is a surgery this is the final picture after the uh, uh, repair of the root and now we take the mri after one year and we can see the ghost side is absent and the medial extrusion is corrected very well in a one year post operative mri images so in the short we can say that it is a very nice procedure to protect the knee and give knee a long life. Thank you.